Hello, hello, romance. Ashley Collins, aka The Aunt of Dragons. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. My shoulder is doing better. Thank you for asking ish i don't know probably weren't even asking that in your mind um <laughs> i did trip and sprain my ankle though that's still a little swollen i also like wrestled with the guy the other day why are you wrestling with men ashley you know you're gonna lose i don't know that's my love language my love language is wrestling um i guess he's my boyfriend i don't know i don't we had a fight the other day which is stemming this the topic of this thing ish we're gonna get to the point in the first place okay so let's talk about child beauty pageants um he and i were laying in bed the other day we were talking about that and he was saying how he would never allow his daughter to do a beauty pageant um a little bit about my history um i've never done a beauty pageant before i wish why do i wish i don't know um i always wanted to model as a kid um I don't know where that stemmed from, but we could never afford it because, you know, those modeling agencies were so, like, expensive. Like, you know, like, the Barbizon and the John Casablanca, which I used to work for. But, um, I don't know why I wanted to, for lack of better phrasing, put myself on stage, kind of like an auction. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have a history primarily in, um, in teaching kids um dance acting singing and it always bothered me how we would emphasize the like the sexiness in things um when i would teach choreography i would try to do like basic stuff with their hands whatever like that i didn't want to them to use their hips as much I didn't find that it was necessary, but that's what you, for some reason as adults, like it's, you get more points um, the more you act like an adult, you know? Like, um, it always bothered me like when we put the red lipstick on girls, you know? Cause like red is like, red is an arousing color, right? I feel like I'm so far away from the camera. Is this better? Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Um, but yeah, so red is an arousing color, right? Like we put on our lips to attract men. We put it on our cheeks to like make it look like you're blushing. And yeah, I didn't see the point in putting the red lipstick on the little girls, but, but we did. Maybe it's, maybe one of the reasons that we put red lipstick on little girls on stage is like that way you can see them, but like, I don't need to see your lips. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, um, I asked a couple of friends what, what they thought about um, child beauty pageants, and this is what they said. Um, I asked them what, what they let their child do a beauty pageant, and they, all of them were like, no. Um, no, I feel like it forced little girls to grow up way too quickly. I was a ballerina for, for three years. No, I was a ballerina from three years old and put stage makeup on, but not like they do in pageants. Um yeah the, the the stage makeup not only in pageants but in theater it's 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 just too much for me you know like do i really need to see your face that clearly in order for me to in, enjoy the show you know like I, I don't think that the blush is necessary i don't think that the lipstick is necessary necessary yeah it's 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 just it's like halloween right we all like to play dress up but for some reason we love when when kids play dress up as adults and I it always like creeps me out um no because I'm a father a lot of men said no because I'm a dad because apparently Nick Cannon said something about this and he was saying how he doesn't like beauty pageants um it's a uh, it's too much makeup and looking grown and they kids um kids do pageantry to please their parents I think that I'm going on a little bit of a tangent but let, let me finish here for a second I think that competition is good with kids because it teaches you discipline and it teaches you um, responsibility and it teaches you how it's gonna work in the real world, right? We, we compete with each other all the time. We compete when we apply for jobs. You know, you have to make sure that you have the best looking resume. You have to make sure like, like you're, you're wearing the best suit or the best dress. That's how it works in the real world, right? So if, if, if we can utilize pageants or these shows in order to teach the kids hey 
I'm going to teach you about responsibility. I'm going to I'm going to teach you a skill. I also think that it's great for for communication. Man, I'm, I'm going to teach you how to how to speak and how how to how to how to carry yourself. I think that that part is good. But where it gets dangerous is who's in the audience, who's watching your kids. You know, I my friend was telling me, um, boyfriend, whatever, how um. I shouldn't be treating him so flippantly like that. Um, how like they'll go to these competitions around the world and like there's the adult supervision is another man. And that's that's very disturbing to me because it's like, why <laughs> why is there a strange man judging these little girls? You know? Um, um, um you're not you're love this girl who, who said this you'll never catch any of my future babies in those damn baby shows there's a very unhealthy competitive nature around beauty pageants a girl wears a pink dress and fake teeth and she's the prettiest of all girls um and she is glorified in, in front in front of impressionable young girls it's not ethical to put young girls through that showing them off like cattle um, a young woman spends thousands of dollars just to be told she's not the prettiest in the room. No one has to earn a trophy made of plastic that will eventually get broken just to feel beautiful. No one should glorify a child's body wearing a bikini on stage in front of strangers. The bikini thing is very weird for me as well. It's it's like it's like the less clothes and like in and, and even like the the adult beauty pageants. The less clothes you wear, the more points that you earn. That that is kind of like unspoken points. What's the scale for your talent in these beauty pageants? You know, why do we have baby pa pageants, pageantry? Who's the cutest kid? <sighs> Babies are all fucking cute. That's really bad phrasing. Babies are all cute. You know, like who, who gets to decide who's the cutest of them all? You know, um, um, okay. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about the history of beauty pageants, shall we? So the earliest recording of beauty pageants started with, in medieval times, with jousting. They would um, crown uh, the queen of beauty, the most beautiful out of, out of everyone, okay? And America had its first Miss America pageant in 1921. The Greeks also had their own pageantry as well. Um, you know what phrase really um, annoys me? Um, impossible beauty standards. What do you, okay. To me, this is going to sound really bad. To me, that's just showing how insecure you are with yourself, right? There's, there has to be an acceptance that there is a scale, right? There is a scale of beauty, right? Like, first person who comes to my mind, probably because I've been watching a lot of Marvel, is Scarlett Johansson, right? How was that an impossible beauty standard? You can get plastic surgery to look like her. There are people who have done it, unfortunately. But you shouldn't make her make it seem like she's doing that on purpose. She, she was just born that way. She just happens to look that way. You know what I'm saying? What disturbs me most about these beauty standards is the fact that men can't tell the difference between entertainment in real life does that make sense let me phrase that better what disturbs me is the influence that we try to just say it whatever fuck it i think that a lot of people are really good at making things sound believable what do i mean by that a lot of people are really good at being like, oh, this is my lifestyle and this is normal. Can we stop fucking using the phrase normalize? Also, by the way, there's nothing, just just do you. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, you don't have to be accepted by everyone because because what you're doing is you're making someone else think that, oh, I need to be like that in order to, to be normal. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I was saying, I don't think that kids' beauty pageants are evil. I think that competition is good. Um, I think that boys have competition all the time. You know, they, they have their football, they have their basketball, et cetera, et cetera. And when they lose, 
what do we tell them? You know, I think that if you're giving your kid Botox, you should go to jail, you know? And I think that it's also a kind of, um, I think it's also kind of a way to like prey on the poor, you know? Like you offer th these parents, which, which is the reality. You're offering the parents money to parade their, ki your, your, their kid around and then you're gonna offer them money, right? Are the kids seeing that money? And also, can you imagine, can you imagine peaking at 12 years old? You win all these competitions and then you're, you don't have to grow up. You know, it's it's cute that, that you're, you're playing like an adult. It's cute that you're like blowing kisses to the judges, you know? But then like, what happens when you turn 21? No one remembers you, no one cares, you know? Um. Okay, let me say this because the sun is at its fucking peak. Why did I record right now? Um, Because I want to get this off my chest. Um, um, whatever, just say it, just say it, just say it, whatever, who cares? I think that we don't really need to worry about beauty pageants. We know that there are some things that, do you ever feel like, there are some things that we know that they're the dangers of, but we choose to ignore it, you know? Like like smoking cigarettes is dangerous. Drinking alcohol is dangerous, you know? Allowing your, ki your kid to play football is dangerous, right? Because, you know, with CT and everything, but people are gonna do it, right? They're aware of the dangers, but they're gonna do it anyway. I don't really think we need to worry about beauty pageants because you're utilizing your social media as a beauty pageant in the first place. What do I mean by that? It makes me very, very uncomfortable when I see people post pictures of their kids online. Half naked pictures of their kids, their kids in bikinis, their kids saying like, say, say happy birthday to my 12 year old little girl. Look how grown she is. And you have grown ass men commenting on the photo. Yes, yeah, she looks beautiful. No, don't do that. No, you know, it's like, and, it, and it's been proven that like, if you want to get a lot of likes, post pictures of your kids. That's number one. And also like half nude stuff. But who are these people that are commenting on your photo? Why, why can't you just make like a group chat with your family? Why can't you just send, send the photos to grandma? Why do you need to publicize it to the whole world? And this is something that I just re recently realized. I, I, maybe I'm slow. No, I am slow. People can save photos. Someone is saving a photo of your kid. But like I said, this is beauty pageantry, right? You, you, you're putting your kid on display, right? The internet is still fairly young, right? But can you imagine when you're 30 years old and your mom posted a half-naked photo of you in, in the bathtub and you're like, why would you do that, mom? That's strange. I did it for the likes. I did it for the follows. These, 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 these TikTokers or people making reels of, of their kid like dancing and grinding and doing like grown stuff and people like it and people follow it and people share it. There are strangers sharing it. It's like, it's like the best time in the live in the world to be a pervert. It's the best time because people are just giving you free shit. So yeah, that's your, be your beauty pageantry for your likes and follows. And is it worth it? I don't think so. Um, it's probably really mean. Um, if you had a kid, you wouldn't want to share it with the world? No. No, I wouldn't. Because why? No one needs to see my 12-year-old son and like saying how like, daughter just started her period oh it's like no like we don't need to there there's like a limit there's a line you know it's i know that i know that girls grow up faster than little boys right and there's an incident at work where it's i just it's become normal for men to say inappropriate things and you just kind of get used to it 
You know, I did a podcast once talking about Joe Biden. They're like, oh, that's weird how he was like kissing on the forehead. I'm like, that's normal. Men do uncomfortable stuff like that. And it's as much, and it's, it gets exhausting saying, stop. No, please no. It gets exhausting because it's like, Because you're not going to listen. Or you just move on to the next girl. And she's just going to put up with it. Out of fear that she's going to lose her job. Out of fear that she's going to offend you. Out of fear that you're, you're going you're gonna to attack her. It's normal. Um, okay, let me go. Because the sun is way too bright. I really shouldn't have recorded right now. Um... I was thinking a, a couple weeks ago how I want to save men, which sounds really backwards coming from me, right? But I realized I can't fix you, which makes sense because women are fixers. We all want to fix the problem, but I can't. There was something that happened in your life and there's no one in your life who's holding you accountable enough for your bad behavior. I can't fix you, but I'm going to try to fucking stop you because I'm, I'm done with it. I'm done with, with, the, with the uncomfortable comments. I'm, I'm done with the accidental gropings. I'm done. And I don't feel any pity for you. I should. I really should. I should feel empathy towards you because you... you and it's, it's also women's fault. Like, in, 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 my, in my mind... I feel like a lot of this is my fault. You know, a lot of this is my fault that that that, that we, for some reason we've we've made it okay for men to say these things. For some reason we've made it okay for men to, to feel the, this way, to to act the way that they do because of X, Y, and Z. And then they they go out into the real world in real life and they see that that's not okay behavior. You can do that in in the comfort of your own bedroom, but not in real life, bro. You don't fucking do that. You don't fucking touch me like that. And obviously there's something happening right now at work that I'll talk about fucking later. But beauty pageants. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm sweating too much right now. Um, thank you for listening to this rant. Um, probably shouldn't hit send on this, should I? I'll do it anyway.